Hi, welcome to The Real Dad Show. I'm Jimmy, your host, and this is my son, Jesse. Today, we're going to be doing something that I've always wanted to do. I've seen a lot of other YouTubers who are lucky enough to do these experiments, and I just happened to come across this package, and I decided, hmm, let's check it out. One of my favorite YouTubers, The Crazy Russian Hacker, does this great series on opening MREs, which means meals ready to eat. These are uh, military food that are issued to our military and uh, also from different countries, different types of foods and stuff like that. I just happened to come across this one and I was gonna open it, but I thought, hey, it would be really cool to do one of these videos and a little homage to one of my favorite YouTubers, which is of course, Crazy Russian Hacker. Hopefully he's watching this and He'll uh, give us a thumbs up because we're giving him a thumbs up. There'll be a link in the uh, description below so that you can find his cool videos. He's got a lot of great camping videos, a lot of uh, videos where he tries stuff out. So look for his uh, his uh, look for him in the wet in the uh, description. Sorry, I'm getting tongue tied. So. Uh, another thing I wanted to uh, address is I apologize. It's been a couple of weeks before I've, or since I've done a video. I've had some personal problems, and um, I'd like to quickly address those. Remember, um, I never said I was a perfect father. I never said I was the best father. I said I was a real dad, and real dads make mistakes. We don't always do the right things. We don't always say the right things. Sometimes we push our children a little too far. Sometimes we forget our own balances and we upset them. And they have every right to be upset and every right to be offended. So, like I said, I'm not a perfect dad. I'm a real dad. And that makes me fallible. I, I make mistakes. So I am sorry for those things that led up to that and hopefully we'll be able to mend that bridge very soon so let's just get into this we're going to open this up and uh see what's inside also uh let's see there's no expiration date this one here says department of defense Menu 22, Sloppy Joe, and it's a MRE, meal ready to eat, warfighter recommended, warfighter tested, warfighter approved, and it's made by the Warnick Company in Cincinnati, Ohio. U.S. government property, commercial resale is unavailable or unlawful, which I did not pay for this. It was given to me for free. And... It says flameless ration heaters are prohibited on commercial airlines unless sealed in original MRE bag. Uh, there's no expiration dates on it that I could find. So we are going to try it out. So I'm imagining we could either open it this way or our military are going to have... Yeah, you know what? They're going to have knives, so we're just going to make it easy and cut it open. Hopefully this will be edible. Reason why is because our soldiers should be given food that is edible and delicious because of what they do for us. While they're out there risking their lives, they should have access to good food. So let's see what's in here. All right, Jesse. Let's see what we got here. Right. It's empty. So the first thing we got, we've got a cinnamon bun shelf stable. It's got to be bread of some sort. The next thing we've got, go ahead and grab some of this stuff just and see what we have. Uh, I've got candy toffle rolls. What do you got? I got some seasoning like um, salt, pepper, other stuff. I think that's a mint. It looks like gum, right? It looks like gum. 
Hmm, coffee? I bet you that looks like coffee. Yeah, probably. This one says a wheat bread snack. So it's probably just bread. Oh, we got chunky peanut butter. It probably goes on the bread, huh? Yeah, maybe. Spoon. Grape jelly. We have a carbohydrated electrolyte beverage powder and it's grape flavor. So I'm guessing this is just like Gatorade. Mix it with water. We've got bags for heating hot water. And that's the direction. So we have two different kinds of drinks. And then this, this looks like a heater. This, I guess, is somehow cooks things. So mm. you fill it with water. So it must be like a chemical reaction gets hot and cooks. Mm. And the last thing we have is the, is the main entree. Sloppy Joes. So, what should we try first? I'd say Sloppy Joe. Let's try that. All right. Cook it off first. Okay, you know what? Let's open this little thing up first and see if there's anything in here that we may need. So let's see. It looks like, yeah, like I said, we have gum. Nice. I think this is coffee. Taster's Choice Instant Coffee. Salt. Uh, napkins, right? Alright. What else is in this little dirty bag? Uh, little towelette. Splenda. Uh, cream for the coffee. And Tabasco sauce. I, I love that one where, uh, the Russian hacker, he actually got a Tabasco bottle, a little miniature one, and he was so excited. That would have been cool to get one. Um, I think his, the one that he opened was from Great Britain. I think it was Great Britain. I don't know. But Sounds this right. looks easier for our soldiers to be able to carry and lightweight. So let's do this one first. Let's, let's drop right on in here. Okay, so this is the Sloppy Joe. It says on here, Sloppy Joe feeling. Oh, it's just filling. Uh, oh, loss of strength to 36? Uh, I don't know what that date is. Oh, it gives you like loss of strength, decrease endurance, a loss of motivation, decrease mental alertness. Well, what it says means is that restriction of food and nutrients would lead to loss of strength, endurance, awesome. motivation, because you need to be healthy out there. There's a lot of things that are going on out there. So it's encouraging our soldiers to eat as much as you can. Um, it says that if they can't eat all the food at one time, to eat most of the high uh, the high, high carbohydrate ones like the crackers and cookies and fruit jelly to give them more energy uh, to eat a little bit at a time try to eat you don't have to eat everything but try to eat a little bit of everything I'll try so we'll try that so what is sloppy joe sloppy joe's well most of the time well, I remember it as a kid and um elementary school for um, lunch they would serve sloppy joes it's basically it's a hamburger bun with sloppy meat all inside it and it makes mess that's why they call it sloppy joe i think it's like barbecue or something that sounds good i know I, I think i made it for you at one time so i'm a little worried that this is gonna make a mess i want to just put that off camera that'll be Sh fine should we get a towel uh nah. This is our old um, garage pool table. So it doesn't matter. Okay, so let's see what's in this. Maybe if I had a pair of scissors, 
Uh, we have Can a, get pair, a of pair of scissors. Yeah, it's in the. There. Yeah. Let's try a pair of scissors. Let's see. Maybe now give us a better. Get a better view of what's in there. I'm trying to be Rambo here and cut it with the knife. <laughs> so that's the sloppy Joe. That looks really good. Mm, it smells good. Wow, it smells, it smells like chili. Yeah, okay, so we would cook it in this. So it says heating instructions remove MRE pouch from carbon and do not open it. <laughs> We already screwed up. We opened it. <laughs> um, we we're supposed to fill this. I knew it. With warm water. I'd say we should like fold it close and then like staple it. Yeah, let's see. Tear here. <laughs> we already missed that. And then it says place our MRE pouch from the carton and save carton to the top of the bag press the MRE pouch while holding the MRE pouch okay after my beautiful wife explained all the things that I messed up we are going to put our open pouch that we shouldn't have opened in here and we'll spill and then we're going to get the water get the water open and we'll try to get this so that the water doesn't go into the pouch maybe we should just like pull it to close and shake it I think it'll be fine we'll see what's the worst that can happen we blow up. Okay, here. I'll hold it, you pour it. Make sure you don't go past those two lines, okay? Go ahead. Okay, stop. All right, let's go. A little bit more. to the middle of the bag. Then, I already smell it. smell it and it's already getting hot so then we would leave this up against a rock if we were in the field okay we put this up against this cup here to simulate like we'd be out and uh, we wouldn't have any place so we we would uh, set this up against a rock so that's just simulating the rock so while we're waiting let's try some of the juice any some of the water you have all right, now where's the juice at? Do you remember? Carbonated juice. Here we go. Let's open this stuff. There. This it says ingredients for the Victor on Directions for use. Allow, allow water just chemically purified to stand 30 minutes before. Beverage, tear apart, notch. Okay, so. We're not gonna have a cabinet. Our water's already clean, so we won't have to worry about that. Okay, so let's just add that. It's blue. Oh, it did say what color, what flavor was it? Grape. I guess grape is blue. I always think grape is being purple. Smells like Kool-Aid. Let's have the water. 
And let's use the plastic spoon that they gave us. Make it at least a little authentic, right? Mix it up. Mm. I'm thinking it has its own sugar and everything, so we wouldn't have to worry about adding sugar, just water. Kind of looks like jelly. Kinda. It's really blue. It's really like Kool-Aid. Mm -hmm. But it smells like Gatorade. It really does. does it smell like Gatorade? It smells. Alright. You wanna try first or you want me to try first? You try first. Not bad. Tastes a little salty. More like a, like a Gatorade to me. Okay, it really does taste like Gary. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then we're gonna make coffee. So we're gonna pour the water in this. So it gives you a line. It says for six ounces, eight ounces, and 12 ounces. So we've got about a six ounce cup. So we're gonna just do the six ounces. I don't know, so I'll just go to eight. Yeah. Fill the whole thing up. Okay, so we're gonna zip that up, and then we're gonna put this in that box with the heater. To get all the water or air out. Gonna be to make our coffee. Let's put that there and let's see how our food's going so far. Wow, that's hot. Can you feel that? Well, that's wow, hot. that's hot. Wow. Let's leave it in there. It's set for 15 minutes. 15 minutes. How long has it been? Uh, let's let's see. I'm gonna head this off camera because I don't know how to use my wife's phone. Hmm. Hopefully she can put, uh, just put another 10 minutes on there. Yeah, around 10. So in the meantime, let's open up some of this other stuff. I opened, uh, what was this? This was bread. wheat snack and cinnamon. What do you want, wheat snack or cinnamon? Cinnamon. Let me take the cinnamon. We'll try this out. So, go ahead and open it. Let's see what you got. It's like Christmas, huh? <laughs> well, it looks, <laughs> it looks the shape of a bread. Ah! It's like graham cracker. Well, let's see. This one's really good. Oh, not bad. So, I guess you make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich out of this, huh? Hmm. Hmm, fine. This is peanut butter. Let's put a little bit of peanut butter on there. Cinnamon tastes really interesting. There we go. It's kind of like a pop tart. today. Let's try that. And then we'll do grape jelly. Jelly's a little runny. You should have shaped it. Yeah, I should have, huh? Yeah. Oh, because it feels thick inside. Here's some. Well, it looks good. Here's some regular kind. Let's try that. Do you remember where the napkins are? Yeah, I'll hold this. Right there. Use this tip. Butter. Oh. Man, that butter 
layers thick. I don't know if it's because it's cold in here or what. All right, here's your napkin. Okay, so let's try this goop. Let's see. Whoa. This looks messy. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't it? Here. We should have brought you. Here, you just want, this half will be yours. It'll be mine, wow. and let's eat it over the plate. Ready? Hmm. Not bad. Not bad. I'm not a fan of uh, wheat bread anyway, but it tastes just like a regular sandwich. It's just it's crumbly. It's it's it crumb yeah. It, it it breaks apart too easily. Mm, my mm. opinion, I think the bread's a little bit too thick. Mm. It makes it take away most of its flavor, but. Hmm. Very good. Try cinnamon bun. In my opinion, I think the cinnamon bun's better. Where's that Gatorade? Oh. Hmm. Hmm. That cinnamon, which is really good with coffee. Hmm. Very thick. All right, sloppy Joe's ready. That's interesting. Okay, let's take our battlefield sloppy Joe out. That's really hot. All right. Okay. So let's take this out. We're going to get some stuff around. Give me a little mess. Okay, let me hand you this. Hold it from the top. Oh. Let me go to open it, and then I'm going to put this in here. Yeah. Let's see if we can heat up some hot water. against our rock again right. okay now let's try this this stuff I guess you know you can use some of the bread if you wanted to I only got a little bit of peanut butter on it but I'm, it's gonna, peanut try, butter. I'm gonna try it anyway just lick it off hmm. well I'm gonna see if I can scrape some of it off this is probably gonna be the most grossest Weird looking MRE thing anybody's done, but hey, we're not professionals. Okay, let's mix it up a little bit. <laughs> I wish we were. Do we have crackers? Do we have crackers? I don't think so. Let me check. No, we just got candy. Hmm. No, no, no crackers. Mmm. That's really good. It looks really weird. I mean, yeah, I would eat that. I mean, if you're in a survival situation, you I mean, I'd say just eat it right off the bag. If you wouldn't survival. really, you wouldn't really be like, oh, I, I, I want you know, a steak or 
McDonald's hamburger, anything would probably taste good, but you know, this is not bad. A little spicy. Yeah. All right, so you can eat it. See, I would say, okay, use the wheat toast for the sloppy joe, and then use the cinnamon for the peanut butter and jelly. That sounds right, huh? Sounds right. right. And then we can add a little bit of salt. It'd be like extra sweet. I think we have salt somewhere. Yeah, mm. salt. No. Yeah. I've had a lot of sloppy joes growing up. And, um, this is actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. Mm. Very look My wife off camera, would you like to try some? You seem like suffering a little bit seeing us eat and enjoying the food. <laughs> I think I can have a little bit more of this peanut butter and jelly. Mmm. This is really interesting. Mm-hmm. It tastes like Gatorade to me. I'm digging the peanut butter and jelly. Mm. I would dig the cinnamon bun so far. I would say the sloppy mm. joe second the cinnamon bun. So where do you think? <laughs> I would eat that all day. Yeah, I could eat this as a dinner. I was, uh, I was afraid to try it because all the stuff is instant cooked, but hey, I'm, I'm happy to see at least, you know, I was worried that our soldiers are eating crap, you know, and all the things that they do for us and risking their lives and being so far away from their families and their countries and everything. And they're relying on these MREs to get them through the day. And I was worried that they weren't getting anything, you know, good. <laughs> I, mean, they were, I mean, I was thinking they were probably getting, you know, crap. Like you watch in these old fashioned movies. But this is actually really good. Easy to make and delicious. Mm -hmm. With, I mean, if we were experienced and experienced soldiers, we would have made this all the way it was supposed to be, and this would be a lot more delicious. But, I mean, hmm. I'm feeling bad for the Tabasco. I'm already on mm -hmm. this, and it's just standing there. Just like, yeah. This is not bad. Hmm. So let's see. Oh, my hands are all sticky. Let's see how our water did. The water is cold. Mm, really good. Yeah, the water's still cold. I don't think we mixed it right. Maybe it wasn't like in the water. Maybe it was just sticking out. Maybe it has to be more like this because it won't. It, I mean, it's not gonna leak because it's sealed. Hmm. Off camera, can can we get can we get some hot water? Just hot tap water would be good. Yeah. Some lemon tastes a little weird though. Really? Hmm. Huh. I have some more of this. That would be kind of cinnamon. I have cinnamon buns, but it's good. Okay. Let's have some of that hot water. First, let's grab that. And we're going to add some of this. Mm. Alright, let's see how this looks. 
pump into this. Let's see what happens to scissors. Okay, they got to have some cream. Sugar. Oh. That way. Since the water's not warming up because we're not real. We're not soldiers and we don't know how to survive like this. <laughs> we're gonna just do the best way we can. Let's use this Splenda. I think this is definitely worth it. Then, a little bit of creamer for the coffee. Mm, that is me. have a clean spoon, do we? No, we don't. <laughs> Here, you use like the opposite side of this. Uh, can we get a clean spoon? Oh, that's percolating here. Oh, why don't you try those candies? Open the candy up. I'm gonna touch All those. Right. There's candy. It says toffee candy. What is toffee? Um, it's toffee. <laughs> I think it's made, I don't know what it's made of. One of the things that I don't see here are matches. Oh, good tool. Candles or cooking stuff. That oh. looks like, it just looks like one of those things that keeps it hydrated. So let's see. <laughs> They're Tootsie Rolls. <laughs> They're crushed up. <laughs> <laughs> toffee. It's a toffee, right? Oh, shoot. It's smoking. That's just the chemical on it. It's fine. Oh, uh, it's actually getting warm now. Now it's getting warm? Oh, now. Now it's getting warm. It's all right. Let's see. Careful. Ah. Now oh, that's a good cup of coffee. Well, what did you think? I think that's that's not bad. Maybe a little bit of sugar it tastes a little bitter, and maybe a little bit of sugar it would be better, right? But if you were a soldier and this is what they give you to eat, it's best. It's pretty good, right? All right. Not what I would imagine, but still, very good, nutritious. They're not getting the. Uh, I mean, it could be better, obviously. Candy is not helping, candy. You don't really see Tootsie Rolls with these. With these. <laughs> right? It's usually just the chocolate itself. And I'm you know. a big Tootsie Roll fan now. I've always liked Tootsie Rolls. Tootsie Rolls okay. Um, I'm not a big fan of chocolate, but it, it's. I'll eat it. It's good. Let's see. Does it taste like a Tootsie Roll? Yeah. Wrapped up in the paper. Wow. There it is. Okay. All right. So have a weird looking Tootsie Roll. You know, for a Tootsie Roll, I was expecting to be a little stable. Well, that's our review on an American MRE. Meals ready to eat. Uh, <coughs> issued to our military as emergency <laughs> rations or in the field. During wartime. <coughs> this looks like it's just one meal. <coughs> it came with a little mini plate. That way it's just on the floor. If you I've miss. seen kits where they have three meals. <coughs> and more provisions like toothbrushes and matches and portable stove and stuff like that. But... Looks like they use this uh, kind of like a chemical thing. So you could just see, look at the air, the, the steam coming out. It's starting to get warm now. The, the heating element in there is warm. I just don't know how to use it. So <laughs> anyway, thank you for, uh, for joining us. If you like this video, 
hit the like button, share this video, hit the notification button so that you know every time we post a video, even the ridiculous ones like these. Um, share us with your friends. Let people know we're here. And uh, just like I always say, oh, come. Remember, anybody can be a father, but it takes a special person to be a dad. And on that note, like I said, I made a lot of mistakes this last couple of weeks where I kind of forgot some of the important ways, important things in understanding your children and their feelings. And I apologize for that. I know they're watching, and I don't want to embarrass them by saying their names. But I'm sorry, and I love you guys so much. Once again, I'm Jimmy. I'm Jesse. Thanks for joining us. God bless.